Hey Virgo, welcome to Swift Intuition. Uh, if this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. Also, if you're looking for a personal reading, check in the description below. So, I started recording your video right when two cards popped up and then it cut off. So, we're going to just go from there. Okay, the first card that popped out for you, Virgos, was the Death card. The death card speaks of something that's ending for something new to begin. The second card that had popped out was the Hierophant card. So this tells me that it's a long, um, it's a relationship that you've been in for a while. It could be a marriage because the Hierophant does talk about marriage. It talks about institutions. If this is, uh, if this is dealing with a person, it's, it's a person that could be your, your husband or wife that you're in a relationship or a girlfriend or boyfriend that you're in a relationship for a long time that you have decided to end it. And for these to be two major arcana cards, I mean, it's a big thing. Like, it's meant, it was spiritually meant for this to end at this point. Lessons have been learned, and now it's time to move forward. I can feel, I feel that even with this change, um, because this is a lot of change, I feel like you guys probably have built up something. And I just said, but you've been through counseling, you probably have seek counsel from uh, your family members. If this is a job, it's like you've been at this job for a long time, and maybe it's time to part now for something better to come your way. Spirit, messages of love and life for our Virgos. Messages of love and life for our Virgos. Spirit, messages of love and life for our Virgos. Messages of love and life for our Virgos. Most high. Angels from the north, east, south, and west. Okay. Okay, we have the five of swords. So the reason the reason why this marriage or this marriage or this long relationship could have been ending because it was a lot of deceit. It was uh, with the five of swords. The five of swords speaks of um, a lot of lies, a lot of um, conniving. I don't know why it just popped in my head, but like a lot of conniving energy, like a let me one up on you or something. And it was like a, a energy where somebody wanted to be right or would do anything um, uh, for them to win. Even if it was like a shallow win, like they wanted that win and they would lie, they would do whatever they had to do. And it's like if they ever got caught, they'd be like, well... What do you expect me to do? Like, uh, be honest, tell the truth, look, have some character, maybe. Anyway, spirit, what else for the Virgos? And so you decided to not only end this long term relationship, but you decided to end um in a pattern of being around this sneaky energy. We have the the uh, eight of wands here. The eight of wands speaks of a lot of communication. So I feel like this person probably could be trying to communicate with you so that they can spare this, this relationship that you have. <clears throat> but I feel that what they're communicating is not so much of, um, it's like they, they're not really facing their, their part in the situation or is still surrounded by a bunch of lies, but there's a lot of communication. If you and this person have been, um, have been separated or you guys haven't been talking, there's communication coming in. If you guys are at a distance, somebody is coming in. So I see uh, someone could be flying into you. You could be flying into them for this communication, but it speaks of a lot of fast moving energy. So uh, I don't know if it's something that has to be done in order for this split to take place. But what's going to happen is that once, once communication breaks, it's like all of those emotions that you thought that you were over or all of the emotions that you felt that you were past will start to come back up and it could be because of what this person is saying or doing you know it's like this person knows how to trigger you and this is uh we we have the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles on the death card it's like you're into something that was solid. So like I was saying before, it's like you guys could have built a home. You guys could have have land. You could could, could build, build a solid foundation. But it's like the foundation was built, but it was built on lies and secrets. Like somebody wasn't like a weasel. Somebody was being sneaky about this. And we got the four of pentacles. I'm going to take it upright. It's like... Somebody was holding back and seeing that it's the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Like somebody was holding back some money. Um, if you guys were in a marriage for a long time, let's say y'all started a business together or it was something. It was like somebody was holding back money from the other person being very sneaky with it. So it's like if you guys work together, it's like somebody kept putting money to the side just for them. 
and they'll lie about it, saying something something happened with it or something, and they they were just holding back, and they were looking like like this person wasn't giving their all. Oh my God! So what we have here is the is the page of pentacles. This person wants to come back in and apologize. They, this is what this message is about to be. This, this, whoever the sneaky energy is Virgo, like they've been holding back money. They've been lying and stuff. This person shows right here that they're very immature and not just that, but they're immature with their money as well. And they want to come in. They want to come offer you an apology because I feel that they don't want to end this situation with you. Like if it's a marriage, they don't want to get divorced. If, if you want to break up, they don't want to break up. And it's because, they know they were in that sneaky energy and not just that, but I feel like you, and you could have been dealing with an earth sign, Virgo. Well, your earth sign, you could deal with another earth sign. Um, and, and it's like right now they were being sneaky about the stability. I don't know why that's popping up. And now they want to come talk to you about the past and what happened, why they did what they did, but they're not even confident enough in coming to you to tell you exactly what happened because right now, just the way this person's looking, they're still immature. They're still not going to get to the nitty gritty of the situation. Then we have the, the world card. Oh, this is the will of fortune. So that means in your favor, Virgo, in your favor, Virgo, this ending is going to bring about a new beginning. And, uh, and not just that, but it's like with the will of fortune, it's about to go into your favor. You have new things that are coming in. And it's like, yes, this is going to change the dynamic of your world because I feel like this was like a family dynamic or this was like a marriage or something with family that you were walking away from or not just walking away from, but, you know, beginning a new cycle so that you won't have to go. You learned your lessons from that. It's like, I'm not need to learn it again. And right now with this Wheel of Fortune, something is about to move into your favor. You're going to have a new abundance, but this is only after you end this situation. And then we have the... Then we have the Seven of Swords, another sneaky energy right up under the Five of Swords. This person was very, very manipulative. This person was a liar. This person could have lied about little things, could have lied about people that came into your life. Like if you say, oh, this was a friend, they didn't tell you, they didn't tell you this was a friend with benefits that used to smack them, you feel me? Or, or used to have real good fun with them back in the day and they got this person in your house and stuff, there's a lot of and laughing and stuff. Like really what we do that at? And not just that, but you're not only holding back, but you're taking finances is from what we built together it's like we're not even in this together and i feel like with this will of fortune everything's uh oh i'm gonna i'm gonna ask this step okay i think i i got it okay i think i got it okay i'm okay guys okay um so with the will of fortune and the seven of wands it's like something is gonna happen something Virgo for you is going to happen for your best interest and this person they're going to have to walk out no, being exposed it's like this person is about to be exposed like if you were in a marriage it's like everything this person was doing lying the money they've been stealing it's like they're going to have to witness this good thing that's happening and if it, and they feel that they feel that they're going to be able to take some things with them and that's seven and a five. It still, it, they, they still feel like, uh, even though they know that this that this marriage is something may over, it, it's like if y'all getting divorced, they like, well, look, it don't matter because I've been taking money, but you know, you just got blessed with I me mean, and I divorced decree. I'm gonna get some of that. That's how that's how it sounds. Or like if it was a a marriage, I mean, a, a long term relationship, and y'all. Y'all used to hustle together, work together. It's like a energy of, well, look, shoot, I mean, well, well you're going to have to do this or I'm going to do this. Like, it's like a sneaky energy. Like, I'm going to win off of your game anyway if I'm with you or not. Fucked up type of. And this is somebody that you have a really soul connection to. Like, this is somebody that is, that you guys are spiritually connected somehow. It's like a, um... This it, it's we feel bonded to this person in, in some aspect. And the outcome is the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. So whatever you want to happen with this situation is gonna happen of uh, Virgo. But yes, just to recap for those who are just now coming in, it's like okay, you have to end this situation with a long term relationship. Could have been with a wife, a husband, or something. Somebody could be a friend that you've been in a relate that that you had a friendship with for a long time. And the reason why is because this person's been sneaky and communication or information came in about this person being sneaky. So that's another reason why you had to end that situation. And not just that, but like. 
is because like y'all had y'all had y'all had y'all could have started up a business together and you found out this person was holding back because they were being sneaky and they were taking money. You, and, and you're like, man, our relationship, golly, like we, we was all these years, nothing was what we built up, nothing. And for you to steal from our company. And it's like, so this person want to come in and apologize, but they're still immature and they still know. I mean, like they know they was wrong. So it's kind of like I'm coming in saying, I'm sorry, but you know, I knew what I was doing. And it's like, I know you're not even about the bodies, but just so that I can say, I said it, whatever. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune coming in for you, Virgo. So that means whatever has been wrong, like if it if it's something you finally got the names and stuff off of it, something is about to be coming in. Or if it was something that you have already been working on for the business and now this big payout is about to come in, this per person is in this sneaky energy. Because I don't shoot, it don't even matter. Because even though I'm on my way out, I'm still going to get some of what you already put in. So, and that that's just how I feel. And this is somebody that you are uh, very spiritually tied to. But y'all are at odds right now. Look at how they're looking at each other like, Bro, you better be lucky that I've known you for some years because I would knock you out. And if I didn't think I would get sued or whatever, whatever going to happen, I would have been done it. But the outcome is the, nine of, is the nine of cups, your wish fulfillment. So if your wish fulfillment right now is to get this person out, to have this deal come through, that is about, that's what's about to happen, Virgo. And, it's, and you're still working on the situation. Spirit, what is the likely outcome? What is the likely outcome with the energy right now for our Virgos? Okay, you're not even, like, it's like, once you get what you need, you're just going to rest on the situation. You're like, I'm not even about to deal with this right now. I'm going to put, I'm, you're putting stuff on hold. Like, it's like, I'm just going to deal with what's in front of me right now, and I'm not even about to pay attention to this sneaky bastard. That's this person. Because you already know what's up. You already know what what's about to transpire, and I feel like right now, you should just keep everything to yourself. You know, what you're going to do with that situation, especially with people that was that that's around because I feel like you already had an inclination that this person was being sneaky. You already had, like, it's like red flags you were not uh, paying attention to. And now it's like when the shit hit the fan, do you have no choice but to smell it? Like, now I got to deal with it. Okay, okay. The garbage is, is overflowing. I got to take it out now, you know. But you've been seeing it. You've been seeing it stack up. You've been knowing. Anyway. All right. Let's get some thoughts of your person, uh, of your person, Virgo. Thoughts of person, <laughs> Awesome person, Virgo. Spirit of the Most High, can I get the thoughts of Virgo's person? Can I get the thoughts of Virgo's person, Spirit? Thank you. The thoughts of Virgo's person. Thoughts of Virgo's person. Spirit, can I get the thoughts of Virgo's person? One more. One more thought of Virgo's person. And no won't <laughs> get a thought of <laughs> okay. The first card we have is you've healed enough now, unblock me. So, this person you could have blocked because the deceit was so overwhelming. You're just like, you know what? I don't want to hear from you, even if you want to reach out. And we have karmic soulmate. So, this is somebody a karmic soulmate, which this is what this is a karmic soulmate is somebody that, that you have signed up with before you came to this life so that you can learn a lesson. And clearly, the lesson has been learned because now you end in the situation. Contract fulfilled. Go about your way. I'm going to go about mine. <laughs> and then we have. I energetically communicate with you. So communication it is cut off, but like I said, it's about to come in. Somebody's going to come in very immaturely because they know they were in the wrong. And it's like, okay, I got caught with my hands in my pants. Or I got caught with my hands in a cookie jar. And right now they, they said this and, until this happens, if it hasn't already happened, they're saying that they energetically communicate. So it's like out the blue, you could just pop up and think about them or they could start finding you and, and they can find you, they can find you in your dreams. I mean, if you, automatically just start dreaming about them you're like why is this person that's because they are manifesting you they are thinking about you so hard that they are bringing their inner their they're bringing their energy to you abandoned this person could have been abandoned uh in the past that's the reason why they could act really barbaric or ego -ish. and 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 not just that but it's like they put their self in um Whoa ye, whoa ye, stay. They always feel play the victim role instead of being the victor. And with that, that was already a situation that you knew that was going to be kind of like an issue with this relationship or has been an issue with the relationship in the past. The reason why you figure that, hey, you know what? It's time to end this. 
because they haven't dealt with their childhood pains. And with that, we have I am full of pain. So because right now they're full of pain, they have not released those those childhood uh, abandonment issues. Not just that, but they haven't healed from things in their past. They're still carrying on baggage from relationship before this. And it, and it plays out through it, which brings about more generational curses, which is something that you have not healed from that you pass down to your offspring. So yeah, they're full of pain. They feel abandoned. This is a karmic relationship. So hopefully, Virgo, you've learned your lesson. You pass on and you, you're about to get this, this abundance right here. Moving away from that sneaky energy because you have to love self first in order for you to even obtain the abundance that you know that you deserve or that's coming in for you, for you to maintain it so that you won't give it away to sneaky people. And it has healing heart, healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship and addiction. So right now you're freeing yourself, Virgo, from this toxic relationship. You're freeing yourself from this addiction of not just, uh, not, not just, it, it doesn't always have to be a, um, a substance addiction, an alcohol addiction, a sex addiction. This could be being addicted to people that treat you wrong. You could be addicted to pain. People are addicted to being in this messed up energy. So what they do is their spirit, oh, let me find somebody that's going to put me in this messed up energy. And that's what happens. So now you're freeing yourself of that. You're, you're freeing yourself of being in relationships like that with toxicity. And we have love call. So I have a feeling if your person is a narcissist, that they're going to be love bombing you. Meaning they're going to call, they're going to say, I'm sorry. And then they're just going to do, try to say everything to get you, I feel lighthearted. They're going to be real lighthearted. They're not going to want to bring up the things that, that are separating you guys now. And they don't want to leave you. They don't want you to end this situation, Virgo. So they're going to call and see if they could like sweet talk you if they could seduce you uh someone expressing love a message of love which is this messaging coming in thinking of you and letting you know so with that being said um remember virgo love yourself first put your best interests at heart and remember if you do not learn this lesson and you go back you will repeat the same thing over and that's about it if anything resonated please like and subscribe put a heart in the comments below if this resonates with you and also if you're looking for a personal reading the information is below messages of love and light Bye.